We have to remember that we're putting together Norse mythology from the pieces that are preserved for us, and that we nowhere find a cohesive account written by people who practice the religion. There are entire gods whose existence is very shadowy for us. For instance, there are many places in Scandinavia that are named for a god named Ullr, but in our surviving written sources, we know very little about him. Snorri says, Ullr heitir ein, sonr sivjar, stjup sonr thors. Han er bogmadr svogodr og skithfur, svoat engi movet han kepask. Han er okvagr olitum og hefur hermans atgervi. Og han er okkot at heita i einvigi. Ullr is named one, a son of Siv, stepson of Thor. He is a bowman or archer so good and so good with skis that no one can compete with him. He is also handsome in appearance and he has a soldier's skills. It is also good to uh, call on him in duels. Snorri also lists him among a list of 12 Asir in Skaldskaparmal, the second part of the Prose Edda, and uh, he provides kinnings for Ullr, such as uh, the stepson of Thor, which is already mentioned in Gilvaginning, and son of Siv, implying that he's the son of Siv with some man other than her husband Thor. Uh, he also uses kinnings such as the snowshoe god Ondur Os, the bow god Boga Os, the hunting god Vedi Os, and the shield god Skjaldar Os. And he says that one kinning for a shield is the ship of Ullr, so apparently there was some kind of association of him with the shield, possibly as something that he traveled on. He's barely mentioned in the poetic Edda, in the poem Grimnismal, we read in stanza 5, Idalr heita thar er Ullr hevir ser um gorvasali. Ullr has built good halls for himself in Idalir. That would mean you, Dales, you is in the tree. And since the U is often used for making bows, that would fit him as a god associated with archery. At the end of Grimnismal, when Odin is, is finishing his trance and he's about to be set free, he says, stanza 42, Ullar hilli hebir ok alra goda, quer er tekr fister o funa. Whoever first puts out the fire will have the help of Ull and all the gods. This is the, the fires that are uh, surrounding him as he's being tortured by uh, the, uh, the king Gerudr. In Alakvida we also read that uh, Atli swore by the ring of Ullar, at ringi Ullar, uh, implying that perhaps Ullar had some role as a presider over of oaths. And Saxo, in his Gesta Danorum, in which he presents some of his own versions of these stories uh, from medieval Denmark, he mentions an Alarus, he's writing in Latin, who ruled in Odin's stead after Odin went to exile after his shameful behavior after the death of his son Baldurus. And Alarus is also said by Saxo to travel on the sea on a bone that is inscribed with diris carminibus, dire spells or songs. But this is sort of it outside of his mentions in place names. He was clearly an important god at some stage, but there were not stories being told about him that we can read from the Eddas in uh, late pagan Iceland, otherwise we'd expect something more about him in the Eddas. It's possible that his name is an earlier name of another god, maybe an earlier name of Heimdallr, who doesn't seem to show up in place names that would help fill in the gaps, but that's just speculation. So, God sort of uh, can fall off the radar for us in our incomplete picture of Norse myth, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of questions that we probably can't really answer. For now, from beautiful Wyoming, I'm wishing you all the best.